In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a USB flash drive to install a version of ESXi or Windows Server. Using a USB flash drive is useful when your computer doesn't have a CD drive or when you don't have an operating system installation disk. And also USB is very faster and very common nowadays. So first, we should make our USB bootable with the version of ESXi. That means we want to make uh, a USB flash disk bootable like an installation CD bootable. So here I'm having Refuse version 2.9, which I'm going to upload it for you as a resource file in this lesson that you can download it and practice this lesson. So I'm just double click on this exe file. So at the first time, as you can see, it will detect my USB flash disk. So here, as you can see, this is my USB flash disk. And these are the options here. Make sure that you will select create a bootable disk using FreeDAS or ISO image or whatever. And here we should add the ISO file which is going to be our ESXi version 7. That's great. And we're going to click on start to make that USB drive as a ESXi bootable. So that's great. As you can see now, we created our bootable ESXi USB flash disk. And here you can see the file. That's correct. And then we should create a virtual machine. Like we did before, very simple. And this time we don't want to select any ISO file or disk drive here. And again, next and next. And this is the controller, which is going to be the default one. And this time we'll use the third option use a physical disk so here we should select the disk which disk just we should go to disk management here and here you can see my ESXi USB flash disk is going to be disk 4 that's great and here again we'll select disk 4 and next and next and finish so then we'll go to setting and here let's make the network adapter in vmnet 0 in case that you want to actually add it to your lab environment so the first disk is going to be your bootable disk which is the version of ESXi or of course your windows operating system we need to add another disk to install the ESXi or Windows Server. Let's say 5 GB for only installation the ESXi. That's great. And we'll go to Option and Advanced. And you should select the firmware type here, BIOS. And we'll click on OK. And here we'll right click and we'll power on that virtual machine as you can see here it tells you you want to boot from the iso file which is esxi or from the local drive we'll use the first option so we'll press enter i just wanted to show you how to install it on the second disk because the first disk is going to be your esxi bootable disk so the first one, as you can see, which is 4 GB, is my flash disk. And the second, it is the disk that we added. So, of course, we should install it on the second one, which is our ESXi hard drive. Keep in mind that in your production environment or even for test lab, do not try to install it on this disk because the wizard is going to be format your installation media and you can't actually go further and install the ESXi.
that's great. This is how you can install the ESXi from the USB bootable ESXi. So what about your production environment? So in your production environment, you should create the USB flash disk as an ESXi bootable and plug it to your USB hard drive of your server. And then when you reboot your server, it will automatically boot from the USB because the first boot option in 90% of the servers is going to be USB. That means you don't need to make any changes when you attach your ESXi USB bootable and just reboot your server and you can see the installation ESXi wizard like this one. And if you can't boot from that USB media installation, just go to the boot menu of your server and select the USB in case first option of that server is not boot from the USB. And here you can easily press enter to boot from that disk and in the meanwhile you should remove that disk because we don't need it anymore. This is how you can make the USB installation file in case that you don't have the installation disk or your server hardware CD-ROM doesn't work anymore. You can easily create that installation file with the USB flash disk, even for ESXi or Linux or Windows 7. You can enroll in my other courses with the lowest price available on the Udemy website. In this lesson, I have included my course link with the lowest price and you can find a discount for my other courses in the first introductory section of each course. If you are interested in any of my courses, I recommend using this discount link to enroll with the best price available. As you can see, I have added a discount link to this lesson. So always I am offering my courses at the minimum available price. Just click on the course link that you are interested and join my high rated course to learn new IT technology skills. So there is another way to ask for a discount link. Just go to my LinkedIn profile and here you can easily request a discount link for any of my courses. And you can find my courses on the Udemy by doing a search or of course you can go to my profile and here you can find my courses.